Hey guys, let's answer this question real quick. Why pursue God? Why would a person want to pursue God? Why would a, want to, why would a person want to, uh, you know, investigate faith or follow Christianity, follow Jesus, read the Bible, go to church, all those kinds of things? You know, a lot of people might say, dude, that's the last thing I want to do. I want to I want to. I want my life to be my own. I, I don't want. I don't want to worry about those kinds of things. I, I want my Sundays free so I can watch football, all that kind of stuff. So why do people do it in the first place? Well, let me tell you three of the main reasons as I see it. Reason number one, I'll call it the good. You know, people pursue God because it's good. It's the good life. It'll make your life better. Jesus Himself said it like this, John 10, 10, I have come that you might have a rich and satisfying life. If you want a rich and satisfying life, you really should consider pursuing the God of the Bible because the teachings of the Bible have always been good for society. Now, I know maybe you think about some teachings that people have taken out of context, but I'm talking about the biblical teachings taken in the right context Man, those things have changed societies. Those things have changed and improved families and individual lives. Here's one example. Maybe you know it as the golden rule. Jesus speaking, he says, do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the law and the prophets. And so that, that's what Jesus is saying. He's saying, listen, if you want a good life, here's, here's the golden rule. Here's a real good example of the kinds of teachings that come when you, when you pursue the God of the Bible. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Who wouldn't want to live in a family that has that as a rule? Who wouldn't, wouldn't want to live in a society that has that as a rule? So it leads to the good if you pursue God. Here's the second thing. Reason number two is the purpose. If you want to have true purpose in your life, you should consider pursuing God because a pursuit of God is all about other people. It's you're pursuing God. Jesus himself said two rules. Love God with all your heart, pursue God. And number two, love your neighbor as yourself. Man, how, how powerful and simple is that? If you want to have purpose, if you want to not be selfish and self-absorbed, one of the greatest ways to do that is to pursue the God of the Bible because the God of the Bible is a giving God. And the more you get to know that God, the more you will be like that God and the more you'll be, begin to have true purpose in life, outward purpose. You'll be able to leave a legacy for other people. That's reason number two. And then here's the third reason to pursue God. And we'll just call it the future. You know, the Bible says Jesus didn't just come to make us good and to give us purpose, but he actually offers us this thing called eternal life, that we can have eternal life through Jesus Christ. The Bible says, now you might not believe this, but you can investigate this on your own. The Bible says that there's a heaven and there's a hell and people go to both places. You can learn more about uh, how you get to go to one place or the other in some of our other resources, but that's what the Bible says. It teaches it very clearly. And so if you want a future and a hope, if you want to know that when this life is over, because death will come to all of us, that when this life is over, that you are going to be with God forever in eternity, you, you need to know, and this is really simple, it's not as hard as you think. It's just a matter of trusting Jesus for your salvation and coming to him on his terms and saying, I want to follow you and I want to accept what you did on the cross for me. You can learn more about that in our foundation series, lesson number one. But the point is this, you can know through your pursuit of God, you can know that you have a future and a hope. You don't have to have the pressure of thinking that you've got to do it all yourself. When you pursue the God of the Bible, you can have confidence in your future. Look at how it says it in Romans 8. So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. And because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. So that's one of the many promises in the Bible that talks about your future. So I don't know what your reason is for a pursuit of God. I think it could be one of these three, you know, for the good, for the purpose, for the future, whatever it is. Maybe it's some other reason. But pursuing God is worth it. I encourage you to do it. 
Use the resources in our library to do it with your friends, with your family, or with a group of other people.